And last week we brought you the news that 500,000 trout yeah. were going to be destroyed at Giant Spring State Park here in Great Falls out of the fish hatchery following a power outage. Yeah, now ABC Fox Montana's Melinda Zaj takes us into the events leading up to that decision and explains why river water contamination is so dangerous to young trout. Giant Springs Fish Hatchery houses thousands and thousands of fish. And uh, we have approximately two dozen outside uh, raceways. The raceways are where young trout grow to maturity, and then they're released in waters all throughout the state. But nearly two weeks ago, something unexpected happened right here. Northwestern Energy had a failure with some of their equipment, causing the river to back up and enter into our hatchery. Montana's Fish, Wildlife and Parks operates the hatchery, and their spokesperson Bruce Ockley says something like this has never happened before. It's where we think uh, Missouri River water possibly entered. Those are the ones that we've uh, taken the fish out of. Now, fish, wildlife, and park workers found out that the water here at the Missouri River had receded, but at the same time, they learned that about an inch of water had come in here to the raceway. What you don't want to do is take the chance they have whirling disease and then spread it. Ockley says whirling disease is spread by a parasite, which attacks the central nervous system of several types of fish, but mainly salmon and trout. As the fish die, the parasite is released into the, into the water and then attacks other fish. So officials made the difficult decision to destroy 500,000 trout, rather than taking the risk of releasing fish that could have been infected. It takes months and months and months to uh, determine if those fish had whirling disease. They have to go through a series of tests. So now other state and federal hatcheries will make up for the losses here at Giant Springs Fish Hatchery. All of our hatcheries uh, grow extra fish just on the, on the chance there's an issue at another hatchery. And workers here are just hoping something like this never happens again. Reporting in Great Falls, Melinda Zosh, ABC Fox, Montana News.